is Charles Law, but Charles Law, you don't need to know the name. Boyle's Law, it's good to remember the name. Charles Law is even easier. It says that pressure is directly related to temperature. If pressure is more, temperature is more. Or if you increase the temperature, pressure increases itself. So for this one, we have to understand what is temperature. So for that, you have to understand the temperature is directly related to average kinetic energy of particles. Now, this is the first time I'm saying two things. One, kinetic energy and second, particles. By the way, up until now, everything that we have seen, we don't have particles in this. We have, we know this is how solids behave. We know this is how gases behave. But we do not need to know particles to see that. We know that gases have compressibility. We know they flow. Air flows, we have all felt it. We don't need to be believe in particles to do that. But temperature is something that is very, very hard to explain without the idea of particles. And so are many other things. So we'll come back to it. Ke particles, why do we say particles exist? Karte How do we know that? Uh, is there any evidence for that? And secondly, we'll talk about the kinetic energy and what does it mean for particles to have kinetic energy. So we'll come back to it. Okay. But for now, okay. So that's Charles law, but we'll come back to it later on the explanation of particles in that. But for now, just know that if you have a hot gas, then its pressure is high, which means it applies more force. And if you have a cold gas, it has less temperature, which means less pressure. 